Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Armenia campaign in Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. So, right now we have a glorious master plan in that I am trying to take Seleucia. Well, either Seleucia or some of these cities, but we have a lot of these armies over here and there's a good chance they might just swoop in and take Seleucia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and be a little bit sneaky here. And I'm just going to sort of sneak over here into this little forested area and I'm just going to lay here, chill out. So if these guys go take the city, I can just go and take it after them. Now that's the plan of it anyways. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really we can do in this turn. We just fended off the Persian army over here, so that was nice. So I don't know if I should disband my mercenaries quite yet though. Uh, no, let's actually just save our money for now and let's end the turn. Of course, after, after we've gotten the skills out. Uh, so we can have, uh, oh, this one is good, yeah. The military thing, and that's, that's the one I would want. We can also upgrade the general, uh, give him some commander shit, whatever. So let's do that and hope things go our way. Okay, now, okay, nice. The Seleucids did indeed kill off those guys. So that worked out in my favor. And, uh, yeah, they did actually take the city, and now they're marching to kill me. Fuck. Uh, that's an issue. But they, le they left Seleucia pretty darn undefended, so... The enemy casts a shadow over us all. Will you send your soldiers no. A most <laughs> I won't do that at all. Go away. Leave me alone. Oh, this is glorious, though. Yeah, totally. We're totally gonna swoop... Okay, so my plan actually did work. We can now swoop in and just take this. So let's just auto resolve this. There's no real reason to fight it out. Take Seleucia, and there we go. Now we control it. And we got more Imperium, which I should have watched at or looked at, but I didn't because I clicked it away too quickly. Okay, so this is scary. Uh, this army is totally going to take my shit, especially since these guys left me. Oh, well, time to spam mercenaries. <laughs> and desperate to try and recruit more units. Actually, let's focus on the actual noble spearmen. Like, get some, get some proper spearmen in there. No reason buying crap when you can afford and support good shit. Uh, so that's pretty much all we can do for this turn. So I think we're just going to end and... No, we can actually... Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, that works. Uh, I like that one. Yeah, sure. It's not that important. Go! And... Uh, I, okay, so Egypt is actually closing in on the Seleucids. That's kind of nasty. Trade agreement? Sure. What the hell? And they're actually paying me for it. Nice. That is totally okay. Or did I pay for it? I didn't even pay attention. Well, it, it doesn't make sense that I paid. I didn't have enough money to pay that. Okay, so they're actually going back. Oh, come on. Let the Seleucids kill them. That would be sweet if they just did that for me. I have no interest in killing all these armies. I just want to take the cities. Hmm. That's just how I work, isn't it? Right, so can they even reach me? No. Oh my god, my economy. I'm a little bit scared of disbanding my mercenaries though, although I feel like I can reasonably take away some of them at least. And replace them with some regulars. We can rid of some of these archers. And instead get some regular ones. They're just cheaper and gives give me gives me more income basically. Which I want and need and stuff. Trouble populous. Whatever, let's end another turn. See how the situation develops. I'm just speeding through these turns because I'm really just taking... Oh, okay, yeah, the Egyptians are doing a major offense now. Your generals might be the sons of Ares. Uh, no, not really, to be perfectly honest. I don't really want that. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it's pretty much just a cold war. I mean, they're not doing... Well, no, actually, now they're moving into the mountains. I don't know what they're doing up there, but... I didn't know... All I know is that I don't like it. I don't... I don't... Do not approve of it. That's, like, all I can say. Foreign policy. Cool. Okay. Uh, now what? Maybe some military tech. Is there anything that just, in general... Recruitment cost and upkeep cost? That sounds good. Let's get... Let's get that. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to hold these cities, especially with the Seleucid help. 
We are allies to some extent, although I don't know if they will actually help me out since we are only defensive allies, or if it has to be a proper, like, actual alliance for that to work out. Shouldn't we be ready for a proper alliance at this point? The blessing of the Olympians upon you. What then do your noble Shouldn't that be desires? doable? Nah, they're not into it. Maybe I'll, maybe if I get some more cash, save us some more minis, then I could probably pull it off. Oh, we have a population surplus. Very good. Let's go ahead and build a shrine. Because we might have to... Yeah, we'll, we'll guarantee... <coughs> oh, sorry. If this alliance with uh, the Seleucids lasts, we can... We'll have to fight them a little bit uh, for influence in terms of culture. So we want to make sure we have it uh, a little bit of a shrine to try and convert people to the proper culture, the Eastern culture. Holy shit, yeah, look at that, the Seleucids are falling, that's not very good. I was kind of hoping they would be a really sort of a good ally. Our enemies no! Tremble. Enemies tremble, I, I just don't care. That's, that's really all there is to it, I simply do not give a fuck. Really, you're gonna raid now? That's, that's what you're gonna do? You're an asshole, did you, did you know that? Political intrigue, what's happening? Oh, wow, I'm losing a lot of... Yeah, look at that, I'm actually... I have actually lost a lot of the... Oh, wow, okay. Is there anything I can do with that? Marriage? What does that do? Arrange a marriage between this man and one of your distant relatives. This event will make... Will win influence for the weaker party. Which just so happens to be me, so sure, let's go do that. Uh, we'll save the rest of our money. Right now we have to focus on the war. I really want to... We need to get rid of these guys. This, these guys can't be allowed to stand there. Can't reach them this turn. I'm, I'm really afraid though of leaving my city undefended. Let's make sure we scout about. Yeah, can these guys reach it? They can, so I cannot actually leave Seleucia. Shit, okay. Uh, so we have literally no choice other than just having to leave them there. Until I can guarantee that these guys cannot do anything. What did I just do? Yeah, poison provisions. So did that did that stop them? It uh, did actually. So they cannot move now, which is good. Ready Meaning I could potentially walk out there, but I I, I still hmm, no. No, I'm not feeling it. I want to just not do anything really. So I'm gonna keep doing nothing. If anything, I should send the spy over there. I should recruit another spy. I just got Imperium, didn't I? So I, that should be doable. Oh, what the hell happened? Some city just fell. I really wish I could ask my ally to go kill that darn army over there in the mountains or hills or whatever. It is a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, no. It just changed its mind. Good. As long as it just stands there. I wish I could... Can I peace treaty maybe? Okay, so the, the solicits just took the... Um, they just took this place. Which is okay. I mean... It is what it is, of course. I now am getting really desperate because I want to get Sousa, because I want to at least earn something for the, from this. Of course, I did get these two promises, which is good regardless. But, you know. Alright, so I feel confident in moving out uh, here, at least, and standing on this bridge. And then, yeah, I can attack them now, but they're standing there defensively, and I do not like that at all. They have elephants and stuff, and I do not want to fight that unless I absolutely have to. So let's just keep messing... Actually, let's mess up this army, since that's our primary enemy right now. Uh, and we didn't even succeed. Well, whatever. End turn. End turn! Just end turn! Jesus Christ. Oh. What just happened? I'm not blocking the bridge, am I, from for the Seleucids? I hope not. Oh, they just ran away. Please go conquer Ekbetania, that would actually be great. I wouldn't mind that at all. Or if they're just retreating in general, that would be fine. Alright, and you need to increase in rank. I can make that happen. Uh, can I increase? No, I cannot increase that. Just do some random shit until we get the next rank, because that's really only that one thing I'm really focusing on right now. Okay, so this army is not really needed as much anymore, so let's go and start... I mean, look, it's 300 upkeep. That is not okay. We have to get rid of that. 
Yeah, I think our I think our prawns is decently reasonably safe at this point. So let's just get rid of all these mercs and replace them with like regulars, because they're just that much more cheap. Okay, um, I can continue the poisoning of these folks. And he keeps failing. What are you doing? When did you get so bad? Maybe he always was that bad. I don't know. So, I don't know if we want to sort of chase him. Of course, we don't want to do that with this army. But what we could do... I know for a fact he cannot get to that city. So, we can march this army and move it on. And try and push over to Susa. Which I think I'm actually going to begin doing. And then, we're going to take this army. And we're going to force march it into Seleucia. Because uh, these guys cannot reach the city. And if I see they start thinking about invading it, I'll sort of build another garrison or reposition my garrison or do whatever. Let's actually get some more troops here. No, I said... Uh, the Bears of the Truth. Oh my god, that's the shittiest name ever. Uh, the Bears of the... Bears of... Cake. Someone understands the... I, I don't even know if I want to call that a joke. It's just, you know... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Uh, okay, uh, of course we cannot recruit any troops right now because we are in Fourth March, which is unfortunate. Okay, so we only got two provinces of the provinces in Mesopotamia. Mesop Mesopotamia. Pota that province, which I for some reason can't pronounce. Uh, so yeah, uh, maybe some military tech would be good. More military tech, exotic animals. Elites are not that relevant. I don't care about navies at all, really. <laughs> Marksman range, that might be good. Melee defense, melee attack. Yeah, weapon proficiency, that sounds like the thing we would want. Unless there are some really obvious things in these places that we'd need. Hmm, I'm actually tempted. Yeah, let's actually get some of these very, very basic technology. Like wealth and stuff, like just more money in general. We're not making a lot of cash right now, so I think that would be smart to do. And Egypt is really cleaning up Seleucid. My, and the sad thing, I am at war with the Egyptians because the uh, freaking Seleucids dragged me into it. And I thought they had it under control, but they obviously didn't. So I might actually have to face up with the Egyptians soon, and that would be awful. Oh, hello, Persian army. Oh shit, they did take the... Our enemies no. no! No, 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 no! I don't want to. Ah, uh, they took Sousa. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Okay, maybe he's gonna. Oh, oh no, never mind. Here we go. Bunch of Persian armies here. Bunch of Persian armies indeed. Let us chill. Let us sort of find a decent spot and put up a defensive position. And we move too far. Fucking hell. Oh well. Uh, we are within their range, but they are force marching right now, so we can safely move a little bit closer, I think. We'll stand here, and we'll just hold our ground, and we'll see what the Persians do. If they go take this city, I might try and swoop in and take it again. And they are raiding... Oh, come on, really? You're raiding? How pissed are people about that? They are really pissed. Oh, God. No! Stop it! Seriously, leave me alone. What did I ever do to you? And how come I can't do... How come I cannot do mass poisoning? I don't understand. Is there something specific you need to get poisoning done? Like, I have no idea. Maybe that will unlock it. I don't know. I'm just clicking random things at this point. Uh, I want to kill this army so badly. Uh, I need to recruit more troops. We fight for you, my lord. Oh, you better fight for me. Okay, normal stance. Get some troops going. Sad thing, I can't make cav here, so I'll have to rely on mercenaries for my cavalry, which is really not a good plan, to be honest. Yeah, we'll need some javelins as well to knock out the enemy elephants. Alright, let's end another turn. See what happens. Most likely the Seleucids will lose another city here. Oh, I'm, really getting, I'm really getting a little bit nervous with these uh, Egyptians, though. Gonna be very honest about that. I really wish the Seleucids would... 
Oh, no, actually, if they want to go kill the people raiding my thing, I was, you know, that's okay. That is okay, too. I don't have any problems with that. And they did indeed take it. Um, now, I feel like I wouldn't really... Attacking this army, probably not that easy. Although it might be. This is the kind of risk I have to really consider if I should do or not. Because it would be a glorious victory if I could pull it off. If there only was a way I could boost my numbers even more. Because this that's a full stack over there. But they don't they won't have any uh, in uh, Chartak, they will not have any real local garrison to talk of. So as long as I can defeat an army that is equally strong to me, this should work. Uh, oh yeah, oh, but these horse skirmishers though, so annoying, so freaking annoying. You wouldn't think that they would be the primary problem here, but they kind of are. So let's encircle them. I don't want to fight them in the city. So I'll try and hope that we can acquire that city. That would be nice if we could. That would be very nice indeed. So we have no technology researched again, so let's get some more basic stuff. Just some growth and money and you know. Basic things. Let's make sure we get more units here. Like that. Although actually, never mind that. And instead Let's take this guy over here. And let's start getting some cataphracts. Lovely, expensive cav. Oh, although I could also just rely on noble blood cav. How? Oh, yeah, because these. No, actually, the cataphracts are not that expensive. Well, they are expensive to build and they're expensive to keep up. But having a couple of nice cataphracts, if I can just recruit them over there and just force march them down here, it would give me a nice boost. And Seleucia has calmed down for some reason. Yeah, I guess these guys have gone into a sort of a defensive stance instead of a uh, raiding stance. I have no money. Well, shit. Because I really do want to poison them. Hopefully the Seleucids can deal with them without me having to do anything though. Let's bring our spy down here instead. So we can start spying on the Persians. And let's end another turn. See what the Persians do. See what the Persians do. Your generals might be the sons uh, of the No, no. Not really, to be perfectly honest. Not really. I know it's a good way to increase relations and all that. But I just don't want to. Did they kill off that army? I didn't pay attention. Or did they just retreat and leave it to me? Mm, no, they didn't. Did they did indeed kill it off? That is glorious. And we are continuing the siege down here. Of course, it's not very effective because it's a coastal city, so they can just rely on coastal reinforcements and all that. But uh, whatever. Now this army is kind of free to do whatever it wants, and I'm a little bit afraid of sending it anywhere, really, because I this is a primarily defensive army. And I'm almost thinking it's a little bit too big, to be perfectly honest. I mean, these noble spearmen are expensive, so let's actually get rid of some, even though I've just recruited them. But I really need some income. Well, actually, we could just force march them down to here and secure my victory. And I really dislike how I cannot poison them while they are sieged. It's annoying how you can't, like, sneak into the city. I guess that one might be a little bit overkill then. Might be a little bit overkill. But yeah, marching these guys south to join up the siege, I think makes sense. And I can always just march them back up if I need to. So we'll do that. Uh, we do have some money, so let's see if there's any good upgrades we can do. There are some temples we can get. I would actually prefer to get this temple in this place, because I need that cultural influence to rise up. Rise up. Send another turn, keep the siege going, and that kind of stuff. Oh, hello, where are you going? If you would just go close to my city down in Mesopotamia, I wouldn't mind that at all. Because then I would be able to rely on his reinforcements. Oh, here comes another Persian army, that's not very nice. And there comes that dumb army. Yeah, crap, that army's totally gonna try and get my peace negotiated. What happened? Were they at war? What? Hmm. Post-war with Capitation. I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but whatever. 
Yeah, the Seleucids are collapsing, the Egyptians are on the rise, and I do not approve. Although I think they are kind of fighting back though, which is good. Do that. Fight back, do your job. But now we have this issue, this scumbag army here is going to go take Patra, but it's really weak, uh, so as long as I just raise an army here, I should be fine. Raise an army and like get a merc mercenary in there. Uh, yeah. Do you need a counterfact just for long term thoughts? Mercenary. And stand inside the city. That should form a proper garrison to defend from these guys. And good enough. I guess it's a really weak, really weak um, thingy. Persepolis, the capital of Persia. Ooh. And they are massing an army up, aren't they? And suicide is totally going to fall as well. Holy shit, there's a lot of things that are falling right now. Plenty of opportunities for Armenian expansion. But I really want this. I, I want. I want this to be a siege. Although it is actually not a major settlement. And fighting them in the settlement would limit the. Um, Although now, actually, you might just be able to auto-resolve it. I know I'm auto-resolving too much, but I... It's just... Oh, I, get, I should really just fight this, shouldn't I? I shouldn't be auto-resolving this much. Even though it makes perfect strategic sense. Because the AI is hell of a lot better at fighting these battles than I am. So... Yeah. I think for now, we're just gonna... We're just gonna I, I don't know. I'm gonna keep the siege one more turn. Maybe they'll sally out. If they do, that would be fine. Okay, let's try and get some military tech now. Uh, less attrition, but under siege. I want that one. That is actually really good. Because I plan to do some sieging, so... Yep, then another turn. Let's see what happens. For the gajillion time, no, I do not know who they are, I do not want to fight them, leave me alone, that's all I'm saying here. Seriously, it's not that complicated. Oh, here comes Persia, oh no, they actually, they are actually making a stand. Oh, okay, uh, I didn't really see that one coming. But I guess this is a nice opportunity to fight. But this is another one of those situations where I really feel the AI is going to do a heck of a lot of a better job than I'm going to do. Because I, I feel like I'm totally going to mess this up if I play this. So I, 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 I you know, I'm just going <sighs> to... The sad thing about auto resolving all these battles as well is that I'm not actually getting any better at these battles. So that's annoying. And of course, some of them ended up surviving that, which is annoying. See, how come I didn't expect them to attack Seleucia? I, I, I automatically thought they would go for that city. Ooh, look at the eagle. Look at the eagle! Ah, oh, that's cute. Alright. Building time? Building time. Oh, yeah. I think maybe... This will give me Hillman... No, Unlux Recruitment of Axemen. Cartley Axemen. Oh, that actually makes perfect sense. Yeah, let's get that. That sounds good to me. Population surplus. Where? In this place. That's nice. But I'm not going to build that right now, though. Um, we do. Although I should really build it. I need another farm. So I'll, I'll build another farm here. But uh, I think I'll do that in the next episode. Because I'm going to end this one here. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye.